Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review, Dragged Into Sunlight, Widowmaker. My needle drops, Dragged Into Sunlight is a UK metal outfit that has been turning heads since the initial release and vinyl re-release of their LP, Hatred for Mankind. It's a very powerful album, originally released in 2009, and it is a very heavy album, it's a very real album, it's a very tangible album, as tangible as the guts in your stomach. On this LP you have really pummeling death metal double bass drums as well as some tom playing that is mixed really really high with some extra bass on it so when these toms do get hit there's a bit of rumble behind them. And on top of that you have a lot of grimy ass riffs caked in dried blood. Over this some very nasty disgusting disgusting vocals, along with some pretty memorable guitar leads. And there are some spots, some surprises, like some pretty clean chorus vocals on the track I Aurora. This album <laughs> breaks your bones and beats your soul, really, with a pretty nice combination of sludge metal, doom metal, some death metal as well. I would say these guys take a bit of influence from nearly every extreme metal style to just make this very grim portrayal of sonic ugliness. The band is finally back with a sophomore full-length LP. They are once again on prosthetic records, and this new LP of theirs, Widowmaker, consists of only three songs. All of them long, lasting 15 minutes, about 12 minutes, 13 minutes. Not that much longer than some of the tracks from their last full-length LP, but still, it's a bit of a different angle for the band to be relying simply on their longer songs and kind of delivering all these tracks like one full, cohesive, three-part piece. And that is not the only way Dragged Into Sunlight is kind of broadening their horizons on this album. The opening track, which is the longest on here, is not even remotely as abrasive as anything on the band's last album, and intentionally so. This track is actually a, a very open, spacious, dismal, and, and barren guitar piece, with some extra noises and effects very quietly orbiting these guitar chords. It's a very tortured chord progression, and eventually some piano actually comes into play, adding a little bit more texture to the recipe. And the song overall really plods along during these 15 minutes. It could have used a bit more progression, a bit more some highs and lows. The song especially meanders around the point when the violin eventually pops in. Still, I actually think the music perfectly depicts the very kind of negative outlook that Dragged Into Sunlight's music usually has. It took a little bit, but the intro eventually kind of grew on me, and I think the idea of doing an introductory track like this is, is a great idea. Some of my favorite extreme metal albums actually incorporate quieter moments and interludes, or even folk, just to kind of bring some dynamics to the table. The next two tracks on this LP, though, are pretty much business as usual for dragged into sunlight. But this time around, there's definitely kind of a newfound clarity to this recording that dragged into sunlight is working with, which could be kind of a double-edged sword on this album, I think. It's taken away just a little bit of flavor from dragged into sunlight style. But now there's actually kind of room for dynamics and, and subtleties on these songs. Like the violin on track one actually weaves itself into some pretty nasty, grimy riffs on the second track too. And I like that on this album the band is sounding a little thicker, a little heavier and bassier, not just noisier. And the drums are now kind of mixed in a place that makes sense. And while this track is okay, I wish it hit some of the top speeds and some of the intense moments that were on Dragged Into Sunlight's last album. It really would have broken up the, the sameness of all these mid-paced and, and very slow and sludgy riffs. Especially since musically, a lot of them feel so similar. Now, another thing I didn't really do with this LP, it's really my least favorite thing when it comes to Dragged Into Sunlight's music. It's something that I hope would have changed on this LP. Their use of vocal samples, whether it be before their songs or kind of laced into the middle of them. While there are artists that I think use vocal samples like this in a really interesting and kind of creative way, the books, or Godspeed You Black Emperor, this 
to me just kind of feels lazy. I'm just kind of hearing this vocal sample thrown over a riff and they just kind of rock it out for a little bit while this vocal sample plays and it just doesn't really sound good or interesting. It's not like they're playing to the sample. It just takes me out of the mood of the song no matter how sadistic or sick or poignant the band thinks what is on that tape recording is. Now the third part on this LP, the closing track, is even slower than the second song with these endlessly drawn out just apocalyptic riffs. And these riffs do build up to a pretty nice heavy explosion, something I was really looking for, a climax. And there's some nice Tony Iommi-esque I love how that's thrown in there, but yet again on this track there's another very underwhelming guitar interlude before the band comes in once again and, and kind of crushes it. There's not really all that many surprises on, on this track, having already heard the second track. However, I do really like the very twisted and dissonant and sour guitar leads layered over one another toward the end of this track, a really gruesome part of this song that really stuck out to me. Overall, there are plenty of things on this LP that I think are more commendable for Dragged Into Sunlight. There are more musical flavors, there's more variety. However, I don't really think the band brought the energy, the intensity, and just the tension and the riff writing that they had on their last LP. Still, I liked what this album had to offer and I look forward to what they're doing next. I'm feeling a decent to strong six on this album. If you've given it a listen, what did you think of it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Why? And what should I review next? Anthony Fantano, Dragged Into Sunlight, Forever. Forever.